Oh, here we go. Got an expired meter here. The meter blinking, we also got the hazards blinking. A lot of times I'll see people put their blinkers on when they're running in and they want me to know that they're coming out. Here, when you pull up to a meter, you have to pay it. He also left his keys in the ignition, which is not a good thing with the window open with kids running around. You take it for a joyride. Wow, he's all over the place. Again, look at him. He's gonna fall. I can't believe it. He's going to the uh, car I just tagged, the maroon car. Don't tell me this guy's gonna drive. Excuse me, sir. What's up, boss? I just parked here 10 minutes ago. What are you guys doing in this car? I just parked here 10 minutes ago. Yeah, well, that's your meter right there. I put money in this meter. Is it the wrong meter? See, so you gotta look. See the signs? There's no parking. Then you go your first meter. Here's your second meter. You left the keys in it, too. You shouldn't do that. Oh, me, because I was coming back in 10 minutes, man. Should have paid your meter. You put money in two seconds ago. You should have paid your meter, though. This is the one, me in. two. Ugly ass, with an ugly ass job. <laughs> Half a looking. Looking at my car, looking at my keys. You got nothing better to do? That's right. Well, look at that kitty corner in your house. All right, boss. Have a good day, huh? Yeah, it's Jerry, girl. like that should not be driving. I gotta call this in. 908, I got a Lincoln, red Lincoln that just went down a one way, assaulted us with spitting. There's a Rhode Island registration going up Friendship the wrong way, heading towards Richmond Street. Did you see him going through the one way? Right through this, huh? Spitting at me and everything. Back. He went through that one, and he flew through that red light down there, which is deadly. It's just a danger everybody. There's people down here with their There's family caught here. There's people with their kids. There's elderly people. What people will do just for a lousy $25 ticket. I've never seen anyone act like that over a ticket at all. We got each other's back around here. Definitely we always are. have each other's back. Good. You got that, brother. Great job. Uh, Steve, be safe out there, boy. Oh, yeah, you bet. Now, that ticket's the least of his robberies, because now it's a police matter. But I would believe they have their license plate, and they will track him down at home. This can be a dangerous job. This is what I do to protect myself in the city of Providence. I try to keep my calm, explain my ticket, and I just move on. Right now, I have an expired meter. Hon. Always remember, no, wait a minute. I know. Always remember to feed your meter. I didn't feed my meter. I thought this was my you meter. Fed, you fed the wrong meter. It's, it's, not, not, it's not funny. It's really not. You know what? I'm fing pissed off. I'm fing pissed money in the wrong fing and I got a fing ticket. Get away from me. Uh, I know. I hear you. I hear you. I put the fing money in the fing meter. This fing gonna tell me. I fed the wrong meter. She was like, you got some very nice citizens, and you got some nasty ones. Her hair sucked. It was an ugly color. Sometimes we have to hold our tongue. You got to let it go. Citizen wants to speak to me on 52nd and Chestnut. This is part of being a supervisor. Going on taking care of complaints and protecting your units to make sure they don't get hurt. So let's head around there and see what's going on. Sometimes when I get there, they already mad. What's going on? Is that your car? It was a bigger car and, um, behind me. I understand, but first of all, you know we're even close to this meter. You are exactly like five feet away from this meter. And also, this is not the meter to this vehicle. Anyway, I can't take this ticket back because you're in a no stopping. 
If it was a double head meter, but like it's he fine. said, it was either his judgment call. That's not a judgment call. That is an instant ticket. No, no. If you got a car that's bigger than you, but you had okay, had the car, the car that was here, that car was parked illegal. That car was parked for this meter. You no, are waiting. That car was parked for that meter right there. How could that car? Okay, that, listen. That, that, that Play, excuse me, ma'am. You're in the no stop. That right there is for that meter. No. That meter is for that meter, miss. Miss, you you gonna tell me how to do my job? This vehicle here I'm, goes I'm to this meter. Right at the meter where the meter goes to. That the meter, place. this vehicle here goes to here. It's not a double head meter. If it was a double head meter, no, I didn't then. I say it was no double head meter. Okay, if it was a. I'm not no illiterate. Come on, let's get a together. Come on, Zoretti. Yeah, go. Go. When they start cursing like that, you have to walk away from them. Whew. She was trying to intimidate me, but she wasn't intimidating me. I'll see y'all later on. She was in a no stopping. I do my job and I do it very well. To be a good supervisor, you gotta be very professional and do everything by the book. People double park, parking in no stopping zone. They come out fighting with us, arguing with us. Oh man, if there was no parking authority, the city would be a mess. I prefer orderly zings, no chaos. All right, so this meter is expired here. This meter is for this truck right here. This one's hey, expired. Hey. You're not running this truck up, are you? Yeah. Why? Because the meter's expired. This is the meter for that truck. That meter's all on yeah. that side. No, this is the meter for that truck. So, I know Why is it on that side of the white line? This is true, right? No, it's not the truth. The, the single meters are the guy. ones in front of your car. See, that meter's for that truck right there. I put the money in that meter. Well, but then you put it in the wrong one. But I mean, there's only two trucks, two meters. Where would the meter be for that one, let's say, just for the sake of argument? Oh, These are arguing. These guys that was just love writing tickets. Just... I, but I mean, I thought this, was the meter. this meter goes with that one. But that so meter's that black... on this white line, and this meter's on that white line. That doesn't make no, sense. No, it doesn't matter. The single meters are at the front of your truck. It's ridiculous. Well, I mean, I understand you're upset, but you fed the wrong meter. This one is yeah, for your car right here. This should be, I mean, with the lines right here, oh, the parking know. lines, right? right? You're supposed to be within them, right? So why would the meter not be? I would have thought this meter was for this parking space right here. Come on. Feel free to fight it. You can turn all the information you need on the ticket. If you want to plead not guilty, take a picture of that, right, you'll be good. I'm going to fight it. Take a picture of it. I parked my vehicle between these white lines. Now, if you can plainly see, after the white lines is the meter that's expired. If you come over here, the post is right here on this side of the white line. This is the meter I fed. These are my meters. I know what meter is his, so. It was a single meter, and the single meters are in the front of your vehicle in Providence. There is no meter in the very edge of the, the line, and then there's no meter back there for that one. So this is the trick, the trick spot, I guess. I couldn't have that job. I got a hot, a good hot. It feels like you're being violated. I don't take anything personal. This is just my job. You know, we're parking enforcement officers. We issue tickets for stationary violations. That's it. It's just business, the parking business. You got one. You can't be parked right on two meters. No, that, that's not right. right. That's a police. I'm not okay. having a ticket. When you park at double meters, you really have to look at the meters. You can't take up two parking spots. She wrote the ticket. She came down here and said that I took up two parking spots and this one is my meter. Huh? This is for me and this is for the dumpster. That's what I assumed because that's how the parking spot was. This one is really her meter. She parked between both meters, but she was more on this meter and fed this meter. You'll see the other meter up here is for the dumpster, and the one in front of that is for the car. I put money in the bank, I ran the H&M, come back out, I got another damn ticket. Before I parked here, there was a truck here, a big-ass truck right here parked just like this, so nobody could fit behind the truck. So he took up two parking spots, so therefore, I parked here, and somebody was still behind me, but there was nobody for to occupy both of these meters. So if I'm getting a ticket, then that damn truck need to get a ticket for taking up two spots, and he should have paid the two meters. This one goes to that car. This one goes to this car. Now, this one over there is for the dumpster. That. You don't understand where I'm coming from. This intrepid couldn't have fit right there. I'm not paying these tickets. I just came out of traffic court Monday, and the judge dismissed the case because it was something similar to this that was not right. Mm -hmm. I read the boss some shoes. Thank you. Bye. When you park, either move it up or move it back. So you know how to park and you know how to feed your meter, right? That's a common sense situation, yes. Thank you. He kind of cute. 
<laughs> he kind of cute. I haven't yes, been down sir. in a couple weeks and we're gonna get smoked for 30 bucks. We can check it out. Okay. Now tell me where you are. Right the white here. truck here. Yeah. I didn't write this one. Okay. I can see right now what the problem is without even reading this ticket. You're occupying two spaces. You are occupying. spots though? Okay. <laughs> Number one, the front of your vehicle should be at the front of your meter. If you pull up to a meter, the front end is supposed to be at the But what's meter. the harm here? Like, I'm just trying to figure this you, out. You'll throw everybody else off. If that vehicle was not there and say that this was expired and that wasn't, you would have said, that's my meter. You needed to bag up to your meter. I'm just telling you the reason why. Oh, and you can I'm argue it. Oh, of course. They should this get guy's overlapping, too. too. Look at this. They're overlapped, too. But there's no other meter to overlap. Well, so you're in two meters. You're well, this car right here is the reason why we're overlapped in the first place. But nevertheless, you have to use the opposite okay. options on the back. I'm just saying, yeah, if they're going to write tickets up for parking three feet yeah. in front of the meter, it should be on, it should be right. say something on the meter. It, well, the you guys have a good day. All yeah. right. Thanks. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and this is a joke, really. <laughs> I mean, we're four feet in front of a parking meter and we get a $30 ticket. Yeah. Absolutely insane. Hey, you caught a break. From now on, you got to be parked behind this, according <laughs> to the meter maid. I don't understand why they're trying to get money for the city. It's not going in their pocket. No, it's, it's hurting the community. Well, I think I've said enough. There's no paint. There's no lines. So how the hell are we, how the hell are we supposed to know where, you know, our front bumper is supposed to be? A lot of times, again, people feel that uh, we're just writing tickets out here trying to, you know, we're after them or this and that. That's not the situation. We come upon a violation, we write it, and we move on. You guys suck. That just gets a little aggravating every once in a while. If I give you a ticket and you're going to say something to me, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, everybody hates them. It's not true. Not everybody hates us. They just want to steal your car. You yell at me, you can say whatever you want. If it ever gets to the point where I get tired of listening, I'll walk away. Hey, bro, thanks a lot. Thanks for the ticket. <laughs> you don't feed me to need a ticket, you know, you deserved it. Definitely picking up. It's definitely getting more busy down here now. We got more and more cars coming in. It's only going to get more and more crowded, too. <laughs> I've never ticketed a duck. I would rather write parking tickets than to be the driver of the duck. Be on the microphone singing and dancing all day. I don't know how I'd be able to get through every day. <laughs> I guarantee after about 40 minutes, those quacking duck bills get to be a little annoying. It says two hour parking. Which well, car is yours? The blue one. The blue Hyundai? I, I want to know why I got a ticket on my car, and that's my meter right there. No, this is your meter right here. I'm from Harrisburg. How would I know that? It's always the first meter. I don't know how you would know that. Take a look at these cars. How the hell am I supposed to know that meter is not my meter when it's parked right next to this white car? The meter's always in front of the car. I got 15 minutes left in this meter, apparently belongs to this spot over here. Come on. If a citizen approaches us on a meter ticket before we're finished writing the ticket, we can take it off. I gave $2 to this meter, and on top of that, so that's $28 for parking. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm over Philadelphia. I'm, I'm leaving. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about that because there was a car behind her, and the meter that she put money in is that car's. Parking Authority Philadelphia. F you people. I don't really care. She said after PPA, she didn't say F you, so. I believe her that she fed the wrong meter because um, usually when people do feed a meter and still get a ticket, they will be that upset. I have a violation here, so I'm going to park and get the ticket. Oh, they paid you that. They read something that took money in the meter. I'll check the meter to make sure. Number four is expired. I'll in the restaurant right there. It don't matter where he's at. I'm going to test the meter myself and see if it's working. The meter is working because I put the money in five. So I don't know what kind of money dude put in, but I'm getting ready to give dude a ticket. The meter is still showing me expired. Did you select the correct space? What's your space you pick? Space You're in space four. So you put the money in the wrong space. It's just common sense. What you mean? When I asked him, he said it was number five. So I put it in number five. Oh, you asked the wrong person. Right. I told him it's about five because this is five. He parked right there. He made a mistake because of me. You made a simple mistake by putting the money in the wrong meter. So what you want me to do? Yeah, you, no, no. What you do is put some money in the meter. So you cancel that thing? Right. Now, if you, I didn't finish writing it, so you got lucky. Yeah, back up three quarters. Go on, dog. 
That ain't right. So, hit four, and then put your nickels, dimes, and quarters to go on your meter. Thank you. All right. Yeah, baby. The water guy told me to go to the parking five and put the money in, and after that, you know. She let him go. She got told to put some more money in the meter. This time, he got a break today. So he actually paid twice. He paid for the wrong space, and then he paid for the correct space. So the next time anybody else parked there, tell them they have to look at the meter. Yes, ma'am. He made an honest mistake, but now he knows better. We're gonna keep it moving to the next one. <laughs>